And at just 21, my next guest is killing it, both as a musician and an actress. She released her debut album in 2015 and has already followed that up with two more. Um, you've heard her hit songs like Thumbs, Why. I love when I said Thumbs, I used my thumb. That was kind of awkward for me too, but whatever. Um, like Thumbs, Why, and On My Way. And you've seen her on the show Girl Meets World and the film The Hate You Give. Um, her new Disney Plus movie is called Clouds. Check it out. Look, I know we've played other people's music before, but I was thinking it might be cool if we did something that was, like, just ours. Zachary, David, Sobiak, I've only waited eight years for you oh, to ask me that okay. question. Yes, calm down. It's not that serious. It's not like I'm asking you to prom or anything. Well, good, because I don't want to limit my options too soon. Mm -hmm. You never know. Tom Hanks might walk right through that door in a white tux looking for someone to eat baby corn with. Just how many times have you watched Big now? Still not enough. Please welcome Sabrina Carpenter, y'all. I keep just peace signing people. It's not the same. I know. I'm just like, hey, you. I, I still forget. It's been so long, and I still want to go in. And I go, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I, it's like I have no memory. And it's no weird memory. when you retract it. It's yeah. weirder than, yeah. Then it's like, oh, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, yes. exactly. Um, we have, I don't even know if you remember, but we actually, we didn't, I don't know if we met Metavisually, but I know we were both at the event. I don't know if it was in Canada or something. I yeah. don't know, but I got to hear you sing, and you are stunningly gorgeous singer. You're you're weird. No, that's so crazy. No, no. You're, you're that's so, so good. funny. This isn't even in the script. I you just wanted understand. to say you that. You my first concert I ever went to in my life. Oh, really? Yeah. You were young. Yeah. How old were you? I had to be I had to be 7 or 8 and it oh, was wow. me and my mom and my sisters and I still have the poster from your concert. Uh it was oh the breakaway gosh. days, which I still oh listen to gosh. when I'm on airplanes and I cry. So um, it's great. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're just such a such an inspiration to me. So. Oh, that's, that's so, so kind. Crazy. Well, I just Thank wanted you. to tell you, I was like, I don't even know if you remember. We were, we were like we were next door cats. neighbors because our bath. I don't know if we spilled a bath. I don't remember what it was. But anyway, did we split a bathroom? That's not good. I don't know if we did or not. But I kept. I feel like we might have because I was worried. I was like, what if I have to go to like the bathroom? Sometimes the acoustics <laughs> and you can hear. Oh. Like if I was doing my warm ups. Exactly. Doing singers your warm, warm up in the bathroom, so I'm like, well, I can't. Wait, do did anything. I hear you doing your warm ups you in the bathroom? You probably did, and I'm very sorry. But why would you be yeah. sorry? That's yeah, so funny. I'm a total choir nerd. That's like, yeah, amazing. I, I love that. If I don't warm up, it goes away. So, um, your new movie is called Cloud. Yeah. So, what's it about? It's kind of intense. It is intense, but it's also like it's intense because it's full of joy. It's it's obviously a very sad story, but um, I think the movie will bring people a lot of hope and inspiration, especially in a time like this. It, it, it's the story of Zach Sobiak, who um, died from osteosarcoma, um, but throughout his journey, he wrote this song called Clouds, which ended up going to number one uh, and and left behind just this incredible legacy. And I got to play his best friend who was um, like, since they were little kids and his songwriting partner, Sammy Brown, who oh. like, that was my first time playing a real person uh, in a film. And uh, she's a fiery hot ginger. She's the funniest person I've ever met. And um, it was such an incredible eye-opening experience. And to work with our director, Justin Baldoni, uh, he actually knew Zach and the family um, mm. and did a documentary on Zach's life uh, in, in some of his last days. So wow. he's been following that story for the next seven years, and it's been his journey to, to make it into the movie that it is today. Wow. Yeah. Um, so you're coming back in a couple of weeks um, to do a duet with Zara Larson. Yes. So how did you guys connect? I've been a fan, oh, there she is. Um, I've been a fan of hers for so long, but it's actually a really funny story about how this collaboration happened because I I just put out a, a film called Work It, a Netflix movie that was a dance film, and um, last summer uh, the song came out and they told me that they wanted to use it for one of the duet dance scenes in the film, and I just mm. fell in love with it. I was like, this song is huge. I love it so much. And when the movie came out, it really kind of had a resurgence. Like, it was brought back to life, and yeah. people just loved the song, and it kind of started to blow up. Um, and I think just the connection there, and Zara and I just being kind of uh, mutual friends, and uh, obviously I'm a, I'm a lover of the song, a lover of her. Um, it just worked out, so I hopped on the song, and I'm really excited because I just love it, and I've loved it for the last year. I love that, a new life to it, and it's organic how yeah. it happened. Yeah. That's really cool. It wasn't yeah. forced. I, I love, that's my favorite kind of thing when Same. it happens like that. All right. 
right, we are all ready to get our country cooking on with my next guest. She is a grandma and retired school teacher who is passing on her proud kitchen skills to younger generations. She has a hit show on social media called Cooking with Brenda Gant. Uh, let's all say hi to Miss Brenda. Hi. Hi, Brenda. Hey. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you, Kelly and Sabrina. I'm glad to be here. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to have you, Brenda. So how did you end up with a cooking show on Facebook? Oh my goodness, I'm from the small town of Andalusia, Alabama, and at our church, we've got a lot of millennials there. And during the pandemic, oh my goodness, they said, Miss Brenda, please teach us how to cook, because they were having to cook three meals a day. I mean, they were lost. Oh my gosh, I wish you would have been around my family because I hate cooking and I had to do it. Um, are you a fan of um, biscuits or any kind of southern food? Um, All of it, yes. I mean, who says no to that, really? Weird people. Yeah, I'm, people yeah. that I can't be friends with, actually. I, well, I don't want to know them. Um, so, I'm just kidding. Brenda, what are you showing us today? What are we making? We're going to make a homemade fried apple pie. Yes. And uh, that is great during this fall season when you just want something warm in your hand. And it's great during football season. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> I'm sure that was some kind of sports ball thing that I don't know about. Um, so what, <laughs> um, I do like football season though, because then you get to wear sweaters and layer, and I like layering. Um, so what's first, Brenda, what do we do first? All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two Granny Smith apples mm -hmm. and we're going to boil those down with just a half a cup of water. And when they get tender, you add a half a cup of sugar. Oh. And the result is that you get your pie filling. Yes, we have that here. Somebody did that for us because I pay people to do that for us because I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next? <laughs> okay, so the next thing you're going to do, Kelly, is take a nice heaping tablespoon of your apples okay. and put them in the center of your dough, which we've already rolled out. And I see you've got your, yours looks perfect. Yes, we, I did it myself, long. Brenda. Okay. <laughs> so then we tuck it, we make it like a little taco? No, the first no. thing you've got to do now is oh. take your a little, little bit of water, water. Oh, a yeah. couple of fingers, dip it in the water, and okay. on half of the side, you wet that half. Oh, okay. Just all the way around that half, like a moon shape. That works as a glue to hold it out together. Now take oh. the dry side and pull it over the other side and take both fingers and kind of press it down a little bit. Yep. Make you a fork. Okay. okay. Take your fork and your flour because okay. you don't want it to stick and turn it on its oh, back yeah. and Press down all the way around, and that Great. is going to finish the gluing process. Go all the way around it. You'll see little pork prints, which makes your pie this really is fun. This is fun. I feel artistic. I never knew how to do this. This is how they do it in those cute little bakeries. Ooh. And now I've got my beautiful pie. Look at yeah. you. Okay, so now I'm, I'm guessing we fry it up at this point, right? Yes. We're going to go over here to the skillet. Okay. And I'm going to put it in my skillet. Okay. And I deep fat fry oh. mine because that way it doesn't absorb so much grease. It works. Oh! Much <laughs> there you go. Woo! Hot, uh, hot pan, there hot you grease. Do it. That was, it'll leave a mark. I'm glad uh, you did that first. I'm such a tool. That was... Okay, wait, how long do you leave it in there? All right, you're gonna leave it in there till one side gets brown and then you go take your fork and gently flip it to the other side and brown the other side and then it's ready because your your dough will be nice. And yeah, juicy. and it's hot, so <gasps> just a few. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't just yeah. me. Be careful, Sabrina. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm happy to say yeah. though, Brenda, we actually Sabrina and I don't have to wait because we have a finished fried apple pie right here that I'm pretty stoked about. So let's just dig into this little well, puppy. Well, we're making. Okay, oh, do we put some it. powdered sugar on it? Yes. Look at mine that I made for you. Oh my gosh. Oh. Do we just dip it? Yeah, I think we. I like it. Great. Is this called a sifter? Right, here's how I do What's my powdered sugar. <gasps> oh! That's so fun. It's snowing. I like the snow. All right, and then what I do is I take a um, a tea strainer. Oh. This is the country way. I like the country way. And you put your flour sugar in the right. tea strainer and shake it gently. Ugh, it's such an art. So you don't have to have a fancy shaker if you don't want to. All right, I like the strainer. And there you go. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Um, Sabrina, you want to taste yours? Oh, no, I've got extra um, sugar on it. Uh, Grandma, I'm allergic to I, apples, I'm so I... I'm going to break it in two. <laughs> so 
Sabrina's <laughs> allergic to apples. Oh, so I can't eat it. So I'm going to eat Sabrina's but just so we're not real. <laughs> I just really wanted to well, come. Well, you can make blueberry or peach. I just really wanted to cook, but it'll be, it's fine. You're I'll, allergic uh, to apples. We just, we wanted to bring her on here and cook something she's allergic to. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the kind of friends take a, we are. Take a picture of it, you know, for, for social media. <laughs> hey, but mine's looking real good in this little, Does look. Does it taste good? It's looking good in this little frying Oh, I literally pan. haven't even looked at mine. It looks nice. Oh my gosh, Brenda, that tastes so good. Thank you so much. It's delicious. Ooh. I know it is. I think I may ate all five of mine after the show. Oh my gosh, we could be friends, Brenda.